We started the last episode with unlimited splashdowns. And now we get unlimited Zipcaster with Simply Ziptastic. This is going to be another fun one, hopefully. I would assume so. All the Zipcaster levels have been really fun up until this point. I don't, I don't see them making a bad one with a Zipcaster. And it's blue, which is even better. All right. Let's go in. We also get a gun. Stretch out your arm. Yes, we know that. Are right, we just going? Okay. Oh. Oh, cool. Is there? <laughs> this is pretty fun. We're basically just okay. Just moving around like this. And whoa. Okay. There we go. No! Oh, God. Okay, let's get our way back up there. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. That works. <laughs> Even though it did pretty much... Oh, uh, can we get all three of them? We got a few of them. But I do want to go back and fight those guys. Because, why not? There we go. Let's see if we can take out this guy. Oh, uh, what? That didn't take him out? Okay, whatever. That took him out, though. I was hoping to get a cool shot of us just <laughs> demolishing him with a... Whoa! With a hit from Zipcaster. And what are we looking at? out here oh okay hey uh whatever don't slip that's cool there's like multiple paths here whoa oh hold up there we go and we have a sniper there oh uh, what we can't reach oh, yo okay I feel like I'm just okay let's, let's just do that there we go <laughs> that took him out and let's keep going I am glad okay I feel like we're gonna have to do this some other way like they're here there we go <laughs> even though it's fake oh yeah cuz ooh because of the... They're done by the crystals, right? The sky here. How does Callie know that? Or how does Marie know that? This one's Callie. Alright, let's get him in. There's the goal. Oh, I got a <laughs> gray. You know what? Gray might be fine. Zipcastic, not Ziptastic. I said that wrong. That was a fun level. I like all the levels where they just... Give you one of the power-ups and let you roll with it. Where are we going next? Small fry, really? What do you find? Hello? Oh, there you are. Just some more power eggs. Alright, where's the... You'll go far if you shoot far. Okay. <laughs> Says the name. And then one of the actual weapons you can use is a carbon roller that has no range on it. Which means this level is going to suck with it. And I'm not going to play with it until something else. Uh, this looks cool. Explosher? What? Ballpoint splatling? Dynamo roller sounds lame. I want to try the Explosher. Oh, that's, that looks cool. Hold on, let's see. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's like the blaster, but better. Honestly, this feels like a better uh, blaster. <laughs> Look at that, it's just like little explosions. I love this. How do we get this? Oh, well we can just, there we go. Yeah, you can't. This is amazing, I love this weapon already. I'm definitely gonna try to get this weapon on the 
on online mode. Whoa, what? Oh, does it not explode if it hits somebody directly? It doesn't. Okay. Good to know. So you always want to land next to somebody. I guess that adds some skill to it. It would make sense if, you, if you're... I guess it would probably be overpowered if it, if it could like explode upon impact for... Even when you're... Yo, are they... Damn, they have a lot of health. What exploded on them? Okay, I'm confused then. Looks like the... Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. It goes through them and explodes behind them. What? Okay. How are you supposed to get this with the roller? That's my question. Okay, can we make our way up there? Because... Like, what if we hit it again? We cannot. There has to be a way, right? Because otherwise, how are we supposed to get that box up there? Wait. That's how. <laughs> I'm stupid. There we go. Are there some over here? There's not. Ooh. Yo, there's some, like... That thing... Is that thing... Oh, no, it's wood. I thought it was also 3D printed. Can we shoot behind him? <laughs> we can. We could also hit that guy. There he goes. No! Let me get him. Well, we got two. I guess two is fine. <laughs> I wanted all of them. Sad. Let's go. Alright. That's a lot. There are plenty of Octarians, but we have an explode. <laughs> A bucket of exploding ink, so I wouldn't be too worried. Yeah, it does go through them and then explodes. Okay, that's cool. I was on. That's even better. This weapon seems amazing. It does drain ink a lot, though, so I can see where the da the the pitfalls start to come in. Really, you can't you can't reach that. That's Okay, it also has good range on it. That is, that's, that's really good actually. Okay, that's how we get up there. The explosion of ink is also, this is large area. I'm really, I'm really into this weapon if you can tell. That's almost as large as a burst bomb in every hit. It probably does less damage than a burst bomb, but... Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's getting me. We'll die for- Yo, how much health do you have? There we go. Damn, and we could just go straight through there. Oh my god, that was almost bad. Is there anything- Oh, we could just get this guy from behind. Actually, you know what we should do? <laughs> we got him. Let's move. Can we one-shot this thing? I feel like we might be able to- We can! This is great. This is my new favorite weapon. It's amazing. It's such a heavy hitter. <laughs> that, is, that is a fun weapon. I, I cannot wait till I unlock that in, in general play. Because, wow. We have one more to go. And then we can move on to Site 6. I think that's the last one we have kettles for, yeah. Learn to reflect. And this one is in the bank. Reflect. Are, are we going to be able to, like, the angle shooter to reach the... What? Can we bounce our bullets? Is this, like, the blob lobber? I'm expecting something like the blob lobber, but this might be a new weapon. Splushomatic angle shooter. Oh, angle shooter is the... Is the... Is a second is a sub weapon we have. So what is what does it do? It's so tiny. What? Ready to draw yourself? What does it do? Oh what? Oh that's cool. It's little lasers. That bounce off. That's so sick. <laughs> this is a sick sub weapon. I like this. 
And these are spots to... Oh, that's cool. It uses so much ink, though. It uses less ink than the other sub-weapons, I'll say. Look at that. Oh, uh, what? Come on, give me that. There we go. I wonder if... If using this weapon in the... In online... If enemies can see you... Oh, uh, it doesn't one-shot... So this thing doesn't do that much damage. I'll say. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Unfortunately. Oh, can we hit it from here? Is this what it is? Yeah, we can. Yeah, I wonder if enemies can see you pointing it. Really? I missed it? I hit it the first time. There we go. Okay, how did the first one hit it and the second one did it? There we go. We got it. Okay, I, I do wish it did a little bit more damage. We could just hit it directly. Why would I angle when I could just smack it with it? <laughs> okay, what are we doing? It's about three switch. Can't we just do them one at a time? Oh. Oh. Okay. There we go. We keep getting these, but like, we could just shoot on the floor and then... There we go. We just shoot on the floor and refill our ink. Oh, uh, what? It bounces off of it? What if I do that? There we go. <laughs> Things great. Oh, it was behind the, the wall, that's why. I hadn't seen that. What? Oh, okay, there we go. What, did that not hit it? That hit it. I feel like I'm missing something. Is it that guy? There it is. Oh, now we want to hit that guy. Okay. And that should do it. There we go. We got it. This is a fun level. I love these. You know, there should be more levels where it's like fun little puzzles instead of just... <laughs> oh, we got him. No, we got him on the first one. Instead of just time trials and hit everything while you're on rails. I hate those. Please no more. Please more of these. Damn, that guy has a lot of health, though. Oh, that's why. Because we're hitting his shield. I'm an idiot. This whole time. Okay, you know what? You're bothering me. There we go. Thank you. Oh, what? Now let's do this. No, that's too high. Oh, that got him. That got him too. <laughs> Let's go. This what this sub weapon seems cool, but it seems like it it needs too much calculation for. Oh, what am I supposed to do here? Too much calculation for an online play. Where you would have to hit to... Oh, we need to hit them in conjunction? Okay. No! Give it! Okay, okay. let's see if we can reach them both. No. Right, let's try this again. There we go, we got it. Ah, uh, what? What? We have to get all three of these things at once? Man, I hate this. No, please. Oh my god, okay. We don't get a lot of a lot of leeway here. But Okay. If we hit here, that gets that. And then if we hit No! There we go. We hit that, and then last one. There we go. Can we just reach that guy from here? Wait, we ha I have to see this. We can, but it only brings one out. Okay, that makes sense. 
Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> there's so many. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? And there's one of these guys. Oh, we just throw... Oh, I see now. Okay, let's be careful. What we want to do... Is smack him. Haha, <laughs> we got him. No, there's more. We got one. Yo, can you not do that, please? And we got the other one. Again? There's a sniper, too. Oh, that hurt. We got them all, though. And I think we get to... We get to go. <laughs> Some more explosions. This is great. Yeah, I think I I would much prefer these levels over shoot on ink rails and you know whatever else. But we can now leave the site. No, where are we where are we going? Let's go down here, and we can we can probably finish surveying it too. So let's take this out. Which cost three thousand, which is actual pocket change to us now. And while we're here, let's figure out where that last thing is. Survey the rest of this. There you are. Is this it? No, it's just more of that. There's st it's still area of interest. All of this. And we also still have a little bit more that we need to survey. Okay, we have pretty much all of the land checked, except for this one section right here. Okay, we got it. Now it's just figuring out where the last item is over here, which I can't find. It would be helpful if Small Fry actually did his job. It looks like it's a Sardinium too, because it's the one thing we haven't completed yet. I'm just going to throw small fry around until he finds out what it is that we're looking for. Could also be somewhere here. Nope. I already checked these two spots. This one has a... What? Oh, that's not true. I I totally already, already got the thing from that spot. And it was just a... Whatever. Okay, we have everything. And now it's surveyed. Let's go to the squid sisters yeah and grab our sticker i could have sworn i picked up the anchor there and it was just power eggs but i guess i was wrong <laughs> where is the squid there you are give me my sticker we scope this place out thoroughly we have site five site five it should be Let's go. Oh, and let's read the next Alterna log for Log 05. Fresh intelligence awakens. Oh, this should be... Okay, because humanity died in the last one, which was sad. And then we have fresh intelligence awakens. As the inner walls of Alterna collapsed, thousands of tons, thousands of, tons of rock and liquid plunged into the water below. As these crystals watch, washed to and fro among the flotsam and jetsam of humanity's former colony, they broke into microscopic fragments. Because they had repeatedly absorbed and reflected humanity's wishes over so many years, the crystals retained those feelings. Little by little, the squids, octopuses, and assorted sea creatures that, that thrived in the waters of Alterna absorbed these crystals into their bodies. This process continued until one day the marine organisms began to feel something, something fresh. These fresh impulses bore a striking resemblance to humanity's passive desire to return to the Earth's surface. Oh, what? Spurred by these impulses and whatever else may have been floating in the polluted waters, the sea creatures began to evolve rapidly. Each species developed pulmonary respiration, mobility, and other traits consistent with the land-dwelling creatures. They began to adapt. Their intelligence grew at a remar remarkable pace, 
across generations. Some species even gain extraordinarily camouflage capabilities. A point of no return arrived. The sea creatures of Alterna set foot on dry, on dry land and never looked back. Like humans, they strove for the surface. Of course, survival on land was harsh, but the creatures were persistent. Soon, they found the tunnels that humans had used to escape the apocalypse. With their path forward now clear, these fresh fledglings, fledgling beings left the ruins of Alterna behind and set their sights for the surface world. This is really cool. So humans died and left back some, some energy crystals and just, uh, let's go here. I think this is, no, let's just go to the math. Five. Oh, we're on site six already. Oh, damn. Okay. So I want to go down here. Yeah, they left back some, like, energy crystals or something. And that led to this. That's kind of cool. I like that story. Is this one farthest out? Is this one the farthest out? What? What was, what was that in the water? I thought I saw something. What? I'm sure you'll find something we get there for, for better or worse. Hi, I see lots of sea, but there's hardly any land. Yeah, how are we going to move? Jumpers? I wonder how long it's been like this. Oh, hey. I'm getting a whole bunch of readings from the top of the weird building over there. It's got to be Gramps. Come on, Agent 3, let's go. Sick. Can we get this guy right away? Mm, yes, maybe, but we have to set it out, set it all up first, because it looks like there are these guys. Oh, but these will, they push you, okay. Let's open everything up, and clear everything, as we did with the last site. Grab that, also clear that. Gold record. Oh, there's so, there's so many areas, okay. Let's go down to the bottom one first. Can we jump off? No, we cannot. Okay. <laughs> I thought we could. Well, we could. We can jump off, but the problem is we'll die. So let's go back to where I wanted to first. Let's see where this takes us. So we can clear the rest of the fuzzballs. This area is cool. I like this site. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on here. Look at this. Oh, there's two, two little spots here. Two things that I wish we got some here. And we got some here. How are you looking there and you don't see this? You got a decoration. So a small fry is starting to outlive his, his usefulness. I guess not yet, because we're taking out the fuzzballs, but better start doing something. Let's go up here. Take this out. Oh, scroll. Number 21. Seems these are instructions on how to mummify an inkling. Ho oh, ho. Oh, this looks interesting. That looks cool. Maybe in olden times, Inklings thought if they preserved their bodies after death, they could be revived someday. But that's well, there's no way this is a real one stuck here, right? No, of course it isn't, right? It looks like it is a real one. I wonder if they're going to explain how Inklings may, or Inklings and Octolings, because it, it appears that Octolings have the ability now to replenish as well, right? But I do wonder how they got that ability to... Whenever they fall or die, their little soul thing leaves their body, and then they could come back. 22. After leaping, leaping from Inkopolis Square to the world stage, Off the Hook has found their new side. Side project. Performing vocals for a rising rock band as Damp Socks feet Off the Hook. Feature Off the Hook. Discovered online, their super ta talented collaborators offer an upbeat melancholy, melancholy sound that had off hooked. Off the hook hooked. 
These are pretty sick. I like those pictures. Can we go up? We cannot. Is there another way to go up? No. Then how? This wall? How dare you. Right, let's go this way. We have... We have a balloon up here? Where are you? That thing's far. Wait. It's not that far. Can we reach it? If we jump... No! God damn it. Okay. Let's open it up. Proceed with caution. Move and bash. Oh, he found something! Let's go. Finally. And we got a pack of cards. I still don't know how to use those. <laughs> it's okay. Another sardine. Oh, we can we can probably finish upgrading right now. So we should probably do that. I think I'll do that before going. But let's finish these. And let's see if we can grab that that blue balloon and get the that scroll. Another collectible. Nice. And we should be able to take this guy out, right? There we go. Oh, what? Did he get it? There we go, finally. That took a while. How do we get up there? Can we... Is there, is there a way? <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe there's a, a rail or something. Because I, I heard something drop up there. Oh, it looks like it's a scroll. It is a scroll. I want it. Let's open this. What else do we have? Oh, what? No. Oh, I could have got off. The I'm just messing everything up right now. It looks like this is going to... Oh, we have a Sardinium. And we have another Anchor. One of these guys. Two more of these. Okay, can we go back? It looks like we can. But it doesn't take us to the top. Oh, that might be what this spot is for. This thing. Although, first of all... What is it that... Okay, there's a thing here. Where are you? There you are. Yeah. Let's go this way. Oh, that was... Almost fell off there. Oh, boy. No. Okay. Whatever. I waited too long. Oh, and then that center tower is also still really far up. Okay, this should be fine. There we go. And we have that sinking feeling. Is there something here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, there's still another one up there, too. Alright, this is number 23. Operation Little Jud's Ju Little Jude's Judgy Judgment. Praise behavior. Analyzing praise for equality. No imperfections found. I guess I'll just go after the toe beans. This is cute. Huh. I wonder if we're gonna gonna get any backstory on him. So a lot of the squids got or the squids and the octolings and a bunch of other squid creatures or sea creatures got their sentience from these crystals but what about the creatures like like jude how did he get his sentience and how many creatures ended up gaining sentience out of these out of these crystals all right let's go it looks like the sentience too is kind of limited because I mean th there's probably more to the actual there we go to their society another gold record to their society but so we haven't really heard anything about seen anything on ter in terms of like their technological development stuff like that although there probably is some lore that goes into that kind of stuff because there is that whole idea that the world of Splatoon is developing as 
Okay, so that's the boss. And this is a normal way. Is developing as the as the years go by. Because th this game's kind of style and everything and its culture has developed along with our with our like real life timeline as was mentioned by the creators of the game. I think this was confirmed like recently that they said something like that. Like, do we have everything? We kind of do. Uh, let's see if we can fall right here. Okay. And clear this out. There's one more over there that we haven't opened. With another one of these. Whoa, no! Oh, okay. I really hope this doesn't reset everything. No, it doesn't. Okay. We can go and take this guy out now, though. On the bright side. Really? Small fry, you could have waited. Okay. Let's get that. And that one. Okay, where are we going from here? Let's see if we can hit it with small fry. There we go. That gives us time. Oh, it's just right here. <laughs> oh, let's hit it again. There we go. Where are you going? Oh, it's going to go all the way back to the start. I remember now. So let's do this. Get a little bit of extra time. And take that guy out. Go here. Oh, there's one we still haven't opened. Well, I'll open that after. What? Where'd it go? No! That's what I get for waiting. God damn it. Okay. Oh, and that was the last one too. It wasn't even that hard. I don't even know. I don't know why I was using small fry for this. So let's have small fry look for whatever it was that he was finding here. Is it? Is it nothing? Dude, you were freaking out like not that long ago. Oh, it was back there. Okay. So it looks like we can no longer put small fry down in, in advance because it's just not going to work. So that's fine. Okay, all of a sudden, small fry is no longer finding whatever it was that freaked him out last time we were here. Let's see if we can find it. By looking straight down. Let's see. Uh, we cannot do that. God damn it. Okay. Alright, this time it shouldn't be too bad. We can just keep going. If I can get on. There we go. There. Yeah, this is better, because it looks like it's pretty much just shoot it as you're going down the rails. And if you wait too long, then you'll actually pass it, which we don't want to do. Nope, no, no, no. I also don't want to die right there. And get that. This is the one I can't, I, I will wait on, because I want to have at least the time to go up here. There we go. Oh, wrong way. Oh my god, very wrong way. Get that, and then get this one. And that should take us right to the start. Oh my god, what? Okay. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I was getting a little bit worried there. Oh, we found it! Nice, it's right there. And we have the last scroll. Subject name Marigold. What is this? Isn't this a person from Splatoon 2? Nishiya Oranda alias Anarchy District 33 Block. Poisson Rogue alias Rue de Block Block 196 Ch Chatubatu. Ranchiyu alias alias Southgale Province Telfin City Block 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 District. 
Okay. What is that? And we have more of these. Cool. So what we want to do right here, there's... Where are we? We're right here. There's this guy that we have not yet uncovered. So let's go there. And grab the last two. Uncover the last... Uh, where are we? There we go. Uncover one of the kettles that we still haven't done. And then... It says there's another island we also haven't looked at. Which is... Right here. Which I... Oh, that's the boss island, though. I think that should be fine. Let me see. Let's go up... No, not there. It should probably be... 12... Nope. Really? That's... I'm kind of surprised. Oh! Oh! We got it! <laughs> nice! Yeah, I kind of expected it to be this one. What number is this one? Octarian Heights. This is number two? Okay. <laughs> right next to the boss tower. This is probably the one. Let's... Let's unlock it and then just leave it as is. Let's see. There we go. Now let's look at the map. No, this isn't the one. It's down here. It's that area. Oh, what? It's down by that spot? Okay, so f it's right here. So let's try to come at it from this spot. There we go. And then we can go up over here. So this, this world also has 13 levels. There we go. And this will take us right... Who knows where this is going. Oh, another way to the top. Okay, so I think that is... That is now everything. We have all of these guys. We have this spot right here, which gives us... What is down there? There's like nothing in there. Is that just a giant tower? With oh, it is. It's that center tower that has no levels in there. Okay. And we have already all of these two and some more areas of interest. All of these things that we will be exploring in the next episode. So that will be everything for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.